oh what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you for watching thank you for giving me the views that i'm getting now i really appreciate you guys so based on the title you already know i have a couple of questions that you know people want answers to so let's get into it so first question question number one do you think people in poly relationships are truly happy Whew. it depends on the person you need to really have the mindset to actually have a poly relationship and understand the re uh, the the meaning of poly. I don't even know how to say the whole word, but to, to know the real concept of being in a poly relationship. And I think people are misconstrued with the whole poly thing, these multiple, having multiple partners. They're overly sexualizing it. You're not supposed to have sex with every partner that you see, people. You're not. You're not. I'm keeping it real with you. But the people that I have encounters with that um, actually are doing a poly thing, I don't see it lasting. It doesn't last or they're not happy or it's always one person in the situation that wants the poly relation more than, than, than the other. This is These are people that I had encounters with. I would have to say the people that I've seen that's actually doing this stuff are not happy. I mean, I'm quite sure it works for other people. They have a, like a nice little dynamic going on with that. I mean, kudos to you guys. But like I said, a lot of people don't don't understand the whole concept of poly relationships. They're actually having sex with every partner that they encounter with, and that's not what it is. It's like if I'm in a relationship and I don't have a emotional connection with this person or a spiritual connection with this person, I might go somewhere else and try to find it in another person. But not necessarily that that doesn't mean that I will have to have sex with them. And that's something you will have to discuss with your significant other as well. Because some people, they say just because you're in a poly relationship doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to allow you to have sex with this person. Anyway, jump to the next question. Parents that put their partners in front of their children, how does that affect your child? Uh, one second. Let's, let's, one second. I'm getting on. I'm sorry. I'm back. So let's get back to that, to that question. So the question is... Parents that put their partners in front of their children, how does that affect their ch 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 um, their child? Did I just stutter? I sure did. Oh, well. And I'm not going to bleep that out. Uh, so it does affect your kid in many ways. They feel neglected. They develop um, a lot of issues when you do this stuff. They grow up to be messed up or they grow up to believe that, you know, putting a person in front of their loved ones is actually a thing to do. You know, it's like um, monkey see, monkey do. And honestly, it's not a good, it's, it's unhealthy. Like um, some kids will experience depression, neglect, uh, they feel neglected. So they go, they turn into depression, they turn into other things, they, they, they turn into uh, <sighs> drugs, they rebel. It really does put a toll on a child. But if you know if you're a person that you feel like you need a boyfriend or a girlfriend in order to be happy and you don't know how to balance this out because a, a, a love for a child is different from a love from a wife or a husband. It's totally different. And you will have to learn how to balance that out. And not a lot of people know how to do that. But if you know if you're a person that needs a boyfriend or a girlfriend in their life to be happy don't have kids learn how to love yourself and learn how to be by yourself and i don't come for me this is just my opinion learn how to be by yourself learn learn how to be by yourself love yourself before you do that to somebody that is a that's an awful feeling to neglect somebody and put somebody else in front of your kids it does affect them in many ways many many ways and it's not fair to them because they didn't ask to be here but a lot of a lot of these people that actually do this, they don't feel like they have these type of problems, and they feel like it's okay for them to do these things. But anyway, moving on to the next question: People rather marry a virgin or someone who's sexually experienced. What's more desirable? Mm, what's more desirable? I would say it depends on the person. 
some there's some people out there that would love to have somebody that didn't have anybody like no like no one touched them like oh my god i'm the only person for you great and there's people out there that's like no i'm not dealing with that i'm not treat, i'm not teaching another uh, an, another adult how to get how to be sexual with another person for me it depends it's all about the connection you know, sometimes you, you might not even connect with somebody that's sexually experienced. You might not connect with somebody that's a virgin. It's all about the connection for me. It's all about the vibe. But there's people out there that are just, hey, I don't want to be with a hoe. I don't want to be with somebody that's overly experienced. I want to be that only person. Because I'm, I'm, they feel like in their mind, like, hey, I'm it. That's it. They don't want nobody else. It depends. And it also depends on your culture. You know, but for me, I would I would prefer somebody that's experienced. But I don't know, like, just as my opinion. But you never know. Um, let's see. Next question. When your friends has a possessive partner, when your friend has a possessive partner, how does it affect the friendship? Woo, that's a that's pretty interesting because I think I have a friend that has a possessive partner. And I would say I felt uncomfortable in that situation because you you kind of walking on eggshells, you know, and you don't want their you don't want your your friend partner to think that you guys have something going on because you guys are have a you know a cool friendship or a touchy friendship like you know a huggy, you know it depends on the type of friendship you have with this person and you it makes you feel uncomfortable knowing that you're their partner's possessive or even insecure it makes you feel uneasy it feels like you can't be yourself and it's weird and honestly i don't sometimes i don't even want to be around that person not because i don't like her but it's just like it is an uncomfortable feeling it's not cool and people that's possessive and insecure they tend to make up things in their head based on what they see and what they see is not what is what it is and that is uh, that's a fact. Like, what you see is not all, all the time what it is. Unless you ask. Last question. I, you know, I wanted to keep it short because I don't want to bore you guys. I'm trying to keep my video short until you guys want me to make it longer. All right, last question. Here it says, how, you feel, how do you feel about the girl suing Geico for catching an STD? I think she's being silly. I think she's suing the wrong person. I think she's being an opportunist because Geico has nothing to do with her um, choices. She made a choice to have sex with that guy and a guy made a choice to have sex with her. And whether he knew he had it or not, let's say that he knew, he should be the one that's in, like, that's, she, she should be blaming him, not Geico. That don't make any sense. Like, dad, people do anything for money. I don't know, like I don't know the whole story. I don't know what, what, why she's suing Geico. What's her real reason, or the reasoning for her to sue Geico? I don't get it. Like if somebody gave you an STD, like they gave you an STD and you decide to sue somebody else for somebody, that don't make no sense. It's like if I bumped into somebody and they punched me in my face and I go walk into McDonald's and sue McDonald's. Because somebody punched me in the face. That don't make no sense. I don't know. I don't agree with that. I think she needs to have... I, I believe she needs to have that conversation with the, the person I gave her the STD. And yeah, I'm telling you, people, you guys... Especially certain... Younger generation... You guys need to start wearing condoms. Y'all need to start trusting other people. Look at this stuff. It's, these STDs, oh, it's a cure for it. Look, having an STD is no joke. Thank God I never I never got an STD. Thank God. But having an STD is no joke. Keep it safe. Wrap it up. You know, unless you know for sure you can trust this person, then go ahead. By all means. But a lot of these people are not using condoms. Like, why well, I, I can't use a condom? I don't. It doesn't feel the same. All right. It, it definitely ain't gonna feel the same when you start burning. Keep it safe. Keep it simple. Love yourself and appreciate yourself. You know. Until next time, my time is up.
Till next time, guys.